Hello, it's your boy Davidoff. Welcome back to Premier League predictions. Now, I know there's still two more FA Cup games left on Thursday night, but I'm going to predict these now. There's actually more than two. I mean, there is, there's two games, but Everton v Tottenham, which should be finished right now, is currently 4-4. So that will be extra time. Obviously, that's FA Cup. But uh, yeah, regardless though, considering who they're playing, my predictions for their game won't really change anyway for either of their games. So regardless, let's predict these games. Before that, in the previous match day, this is how I did. I got two exact scores. So considering that, it's not too bad, but I um, only got five results out of ten overall, which is not great. But the two exact scores, I think, make up for that sort of. So it's not a bad match day. Not a bad match day. Villa Arsenal predicted 1-1. It was 1-0 to Villa. So, you know, uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Burnley e Brighton predicted 1-0 to Burnley, it was 1-1. Newcastle Southampton predicted 2-1 to Newcastle, it was 3-2, so close. Not close enough, but close. Fulham West Ham predicted 3-1 to West Ham, it was 0-0. With a rubbish red card, which cost me fantasy points, annoyingly. Man United v Everton predicted 3-1 Man United, it was 3-3. Spurs West Brom predicted 2-0, it was 2-0, so that's my first correct score. Wolves Leicester, close, predicted 1-1, it was 0-0, so got the draw correct. Liverpool Man City predicted 2-2, but Man City won it 4-1. I think that's, that's their first win away at Liverpool at Anfield in about 14, 15 years. Some, it's something ridiculous like that. It's honestly that long ago, so that's pretty crazy. In league matches, I'm pretty sure. Um, Sheffield United v Chelsea predicted 2-1, and it was 2-1, so that's my second exact score. And Leeds Crystal Palace predicted 1-0 to Leeds. It was 2-0, so a goal off there. I was close a few times. I was close a few times. I was close to that score a few times, but I got two of them. So yeah, prediction-wise, not too bad. On to match day 24, Leicester v Liverpool. Based on Liverpool's recent form, I reckon uh, Leicester have a good chance here. But <laughs> I feel like Liverpool at some point will bounce back. Will it be this game? I'm not sure it will be. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Leicester win. But I'm kind of my head is kind of saying draw, you know. For some reason, my head is saying draw. But I'm gonna say Leicester win it. They edge it. Two-one victory for them would be a massive win for them as well, for sure. Palace v Burnley. I predict. Should I go for a risk? I'm gonna go for a risk. Probably won't pay off. But I'm gonna go for an, another cheeky one-nil Burnley. It's very possible. They can do this. All right, Burnley will win it one-nil. I'm gonna keep saying this until they until they do it right, and it just it's never gonna happen, is it? <laughs> it used to happen quite often. Man City Spurs. Um, regardless of what Spurs do in this current FA Cup game, which is still going, obviously when you're watching this video, it'll be over. But um, regardless of what happens, City I think will win it. They're at home. They're in good form. Just look at that form. <laughs> saying good is an understatement, to be honest. After a bad start to the season, they've recovered really well, haven't they? That's another understatement. Um, I'm going to go for 3-1 Man City. Um, I don't think Spurs will be that bad, but City are City at the moment. They're playing very well. I don't see why they'd lose this one, but you never know what could happen. You never know. Uh, Brighton, Aston Villa. Going to go for 1-0 Brighton. Yeah, I think maybe they might edge it, but I'm not too sure. Villa could definitely win. They could definitely win up there, so I'm not too sure, but I'll go for a risk. 1-0 uh, Brighton, I think, which is very possible. Southampton v Wolves. Look at all those losses, man. They've had they've had such a good season as well, such a good season, and then this happens. <laughs> to be fair, I think I mentioned about them before, like in previous videos. Their results always seem to balance out. They have spells where they're really bad. They have spells that are really good, and they it always seems to balance out, like in terms of their results. And um, I mentioned like they usually end up somewhere, like you know, in the middle as well. Maybe this is that balance coming in. <laughs> I don't know, but based on this, it's hard to uh, predict they'll win. But Wolves, who are also quite decent, haven't won that many games lately in the league. And they tend to draw quite a lot. And they haven't won in a few weeks. So, 0 nil. nil. <laughs> I'm not sure about this, but I think it's very possible. A draw in this game. West Brom Man United, Man United I think will win this 3-0 uh, with a clean sheet for them. Arsenal v Leeds, um, honestly as an Arsenal fan I am not confident 
against any team right now, to be honest with you. But um, Leeds at home should be a game that we should win. Obviously, we're terrible, but with the players that we got, we should still be doing better. Even though, even though I've just admitted it's a bad team, right? <laughs> Tactics are all over the place sometimes. Substitutions don't make sense. But the talent that we have should be doing better than it is, for sure. But we are the type of team that would lose this. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go for an Arsenal win on the basis that we should be winning this. But honestly, I'm not sure. I've gone mad. I've gone for a comfortable 2-0, a clean sheet victory. It's not going to happen. It won't, be, it won't be comfortable, but I think we can win this. So hopefully we do. Because if, if you look at our next few fixtures, it, it's a nightmare. It's, it's an absolute nightmare. Just look up Arsenal's fixtures the next, next month or two. It's actually ridiculous. So this actually, if you look at the fixtures after this, this is a must-win game, 100%. Everton Fulham. Um... Also, they are currently playing, obviously, <laughs> against Spurs. Regardless of their results against Spurs, I think they will and should beat Fulham. I'm going to go 2-0 as well. Yeah, 2-0 to Everton. West Ham v Sheffield United. I think will be a West Ham victory. 3-1, I reckon, to West Ham. Chelsea v Newcastle. Yeah, Chelsea should have this. They should have this. I'm gonna go for a two nil. I'm going. I'm going for too many, too many two nils. But I'll stick with it. I'll stick with it. Two nil to Chelsea. And this. Well, these are not bonus games, but I think I predicted these games, but they got postponed. Yeah, that's what they were. So these got postponed. So this is the date I think. Okay, that's when I predicted it. Sorry, but it was on. It was. It was just after this date, and just after this date that these games were meant to happen. But they got postponed. And my predictions for those games have carried over. So uh, I should just keep these, shouldn't I? These are obviously not included in this match day. But obviously they're here. And they're going to be played midweek. So. You see at the time. This seemed like a good prediction. But can't really trust Everton. Especially against Man City. I, I like Everton as well. They're my favourite team after uh, Arsenal in the Premier League. Um, Burnley 1-0 against Fulham. I'll make it 2-0. Yeah, there we go. So these are separate, but obviously 3-1 Man City, 2-0 Burnley, 2-0 Chelsea, 3-1 West Ham, 2-0 Everton, 2-0 Arsenal, 3-0 Man United, 0-0 between Southampton and Wolves, 1-0 Brighton, 3-1 Man City, 1-0 Burnley, and 2-1 Leicester. This is your boy Davidoff. Please like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and see ya.